Well, it's a beautiful day up here. We got a little bit of snow last night, but it is disappearing really quick. And I'm gonna dewinterize the motorhome today. Essentially, that's gonna uh, boil down to flushing the antifreeze out of the lines and cleaning up the mess we've made in it all winter. Tracking gravel in from the driveway and pretty much putting everything back together. So I'll show you a little bit about what we do and uh, get this beast ready to hit the road again. We're entering the motor home and let's see what kind of mess I have to work with. Oh, well, there's our kayak paddles. And I uh, tend to leave all the uh, cabinetry open for the most part. Uh, I was just in here the other day. Just to allow airflow, we got a uh, nice new mattress back here. The old one was probably the uh, original. But as you can see, we have a humongous mess for me to clean up. And there's the old mattress that needs to uh, be taken to the dump. All right, let's get started. Well, things are slowly coming together and I'm about to start the engine. Uh, one thing I always like to do is to uh, double check that no uh, squirrels, rodents, or other critters decided to build a nest in the engine compartment over the winter. I come out every few weeks and start the engine just to uh, keep the batteries charged and fresh. So, but I always like to play it on the safe side. It's also a great idea to go out and check all the fluids. So, also make sure nothing built a nest in here as well. So let me get these checked. Okay, everything's looking good in the engine compartment. I added a little bit of oil and coolant, power steering fluid and brake fluid look good. Brake terminal connections are good. Or, battery terminal connections are looking good and now just to give the generator a once over generator is hidden down here and I uh, changed the oil last year so it should be fine but I'm going to check it and one repair I do need to make this year is all the rough roads have taken a has taken a toll on the uh, exhaust pipe and muffler for the generator so I got to take care of that. Now I'm just going to start it up here. Second time usually works. Eh, maybe the third. We didn't use the in-house generator too often last year because we purchased one of the little suitcase style generators from Costco and we ended up going through two of them. Uh, they're great little generators but the uh, plastic feet on the bottom just uh, was attached to the case it started crumbling. The first one we thought it was because we were letting it sit on gravel. Yeah, not too different from you know the gravel we have in our driveway here but you know what you'd experience at a campsite so I then uh, started uh, letting it sit on a chunk of uh, or square of plywood and it lasted a lot longer because the first one went out on the first time using it and the other one uh, the legs started crumbling away at the uh, last trip of the year I think so Costco has a uh, great return policy and we took that back and they didn't have the same brand anymore they had a new one and it's this little puppy right here oh. a box said it was 40% more powerful or 40% lighter that thing does not feel like any lighter called a Generac IX2000 but this is a great way to save fuel because in-house generators tend to burn a lot of fuel. I'm not sure about the diesel ones, but ours definitely drinks like a sieve. And then 
it's quiet because you can run the cord away from your motorhome and you don't have to uh, listen to the generator rumbling like five feet from where you're sitting. It is really coming together in here. Just had to clean up my mess. Okay, I turned the generator off for a little bit and now I'm going to uh, start the engine. Started right up. Uh, I've been very happy with this Ford V10. Um, you know, if you know me personally, you'll know that I'm a Ford person. I worked for them for over a decade, and I know their uh, good parts and their bad parts. So I knew what we were getting into when we bought this machine. And so far, knock on this fake wood here, this has been a really good motorhome for us. One of the projects I'd like to try this year is uh, to fix a problem that we have. We put up this stuff called reflective insulation in the windows and it helps us retain our heat during the uh, early and late RVing season here in Alaska. It also creates another issue um, when you're RVing in cold temperatures is the condensation on the window because uh, humans generate humidity. You know, the breath and then we have the dogs. So, uh, this back window right here is a big problem for us because it will condensate and fill this little tray here up with water and then that water comes down and onto our sheets. Very unpleasant and I don't know, just really don't like it. So the solution this year is Rebecca has uh, been wanting to change out the window coverings in here and I'm going to take down this casing around the window and the 1980s horizontal blinds even though this is a 1999 motorhome and put up this window kit. We use this stuff inside the house in the winter months and it cuts down any drafts from the windows and also uh, just creates an extra air layer so you retain heat but my thought is if I put this stuff up all the way around this window here I will be able to uh, prevent the humidity from our breath and whatnot from getting on the window and problem solved I have no idea if it's gonna work but if it does problem solved and then Rebecca will be able to uh, put up some new window coverings you know some nice curtains and I'll drill the mounts and everything in there for alright so here I go making progress here I have removed said window casing and all the brackets and trimmed up our piece of reflective insulation because we still need that to keep it warm and some may think this is kind of a cheesy thing to do, but if you have a uh, normal RV and not one of those all-season RVs with uh, double-pane windows in Alaska, you have to do something to uh, keep warm so your furnace isn't running all night long, and it's just miserable having a uh, you know cold window right by your head. So this is a huge difference um, in heat retention and just keeping you warm and. We're not too affected by the light anymore, but it does keep the light down. Something else I'm doing is I'm putting little strips of black electrical tape over the screw heads because uh, there are some sharp edges on those. And when I put this window sealer up, I don't want it to snag and tear on anything. Seriously, just lucked out. Um, I had a remnant of this window plastic here and it was in the box and it turns out that it is the perfect size for this window. So now I'm just gonna wipe down these edges here. So the uh, tape has a nice clean surface to adhere to. Now the way this works is I have this clear double-sided tape and I'm just going to run it around the entire window. Uh, one little trick is I always get the uh, other end of the sticky double-sided tape peeled off and peeled back so 
when it does come time to pull the strip off, it's easy to adhere to, and I'm not spending 20 minutes with my fingernails trying to get the other side of the tape to separate. Here's the finished product. You can't really uh, even see the plastic too much. I need to clean up the edges a little more. And uh, Rebecca will pick out some uh, window coverings. And I'll let you know if this works in the comments section uh, below. And if it does, I'll be happy because we won't have uh, water dripping on us uh, in the early and uh, late Alaska camping season. I am ready to flush the lines. As you'll see here, the hose is hooked up to the city water. And just going to head inside and open up one valve at a time and drain out all the antifreeze. Okay, I'll start here in the bathtub or the toilet bathroom. Okay, most of the pink's done there. And I gotta make sure to clean that up. I'll run that. Now I made sure to not get any of the antifreeze into the tank. So the only antifreeze is in the lines, not the holding tank. That's running pretty clear. Deal with that later. And back in sink. Clear. Clear. And it is literally that easy. Obviously, I'm going to run some more water through the lines just to make sure to get all the antifreeze out because that stuff's not healthy for you. But yeah, there's clear. And get both sides of it here. There we go. It was just that easy. Well, good morning. It's a, a few days later, and I uh, walked away from the motorhome for a, a few. Uh, our first trip is in about five days, so I had plenty of time to uh, get what I need done, but I had other things that needed to be done. Uh, working on a guest post for a uh, another local blog, but today I plan on Finishing up with the uh, cleaning and stocking the uh, cabinets and pantry with all the spices that we normally carry and probably taking it out for a drive. The roads are uh, clear. It snowed last night, but the roads look good. So uh, another thing I plan on doing is uh, we have an old mattress because we upgraded our mattress this year. And I am going to put that on a uh, local Facebook group for uh, just buying used stuff and uh yeah it's a beautiful day nice little chill something i uh heard about an hour ago is a loud thump and you know rebecca and i were in separate parts of the house and we asked uh was that you no was that you sound like it came from the, over by the dishwasher in the kitchen well come to find out we have a fatality on our property a little robin flew into the uh window it's kind of sad but at least uh every year a few birds fly into the uh, glass on the house i don't know what can you do but i'll uh take care of it the day before our uh, first motorhome trip of the year and i have to admit i've totally drug out uh, dewinterizing the motorhome for like a week uh, there's a couple things i had a uh, countertop that i needed to re-glue down and I wanted to let that glue dry for a few days before I went and drove around and I uh, also knew I had a deadline of a week to get it done but it's still looking like winter here if you can uh, see out that window there um, roads are good yeah you know, it's like 33 degrees so not too worried about that but yeah so I am off to do the first test drive and 
go to the uh, tire store and uh, check all the tire pressures. And then, um, usually the first test drive is a little bumpy because the tires sit for the whole winter in one position and they get a little out of round, but 10 miles or so, they usually level themselves or round themselves out. Depending on where you're used to living, this may not seem like springtime, but to us, this is springtime. Uh, it's really warm, so the snow won't stick around. It's probably gonna turn to rain here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, so as long as these roads don't ice over, we can handle the uh, near freezing temperatures and we even go down to uh, the low teens in this motorhome, no problem at all. But yeah, so I think it's kind of beautiful. I know I'm a little biased, but I really do love our neighborhood here in Seward. Lots of trees and it's a uh, good healthy mix of conifers and deciduous, so the spruce trees keep things nice and green year round. First motorhome trip of 2015 has begun. I wish I could say we're going someplace glamorous, but we're just going up to Anchorage for a little business and I'm driving solo today, but Rebecca is right behind me in the expedition. I have my co-pilot Remington over there sitting in the uh, navigator's seat. He's sleeping on the job right now. Well, Remy is awake now paying attention to the road with me. I think it's adorable the way he puts his foot on the doghouse for a little bit of support. He's a good boy. He loves being on the road with us. And the roads are not too bad today. We got on the other side of Divide Pass and they are looking really good. They're even starting to dry out. A few scattered snowflakes coming at us, but nothing worth uh, really getting worried about. Well, we're down on Turnigan Arm, and we are encountering a little bit of weather. Really, just a little rain and wind, but um, yeah, the mountains were fine. But the minute we dropped down to the arm, the wind picked up and it started raining. But this area is kind of known for you know bad weather. Good evening. Well, as you can see, we made it to Anchorage. We're back together again. Uh, we are at our favorite boondocking site in the city. This one's top secret. This Yeah, we don't put this one on the vlog. Classified. Yeah, everybody else, you know, the Cabela's um, over on C Street is a safe spot, good spot. That's where we're going to stay tomorrow night. But, you know, we're in a top secret spot tonight. Yeah. Anyway, um, we are laying on our new mattress. We ordered it from Amazon a couple of weeks ago. It came in this... A uh, tall, skinny box uh, from the, what was it, FedEx guy or UPS guy? FedEx. FedEx, yeah. And the instructions from Amazon told, they, everybody said, don't open it until you're inside your RV. So a couple weeks ago we came in, um, got the old mattress out, which was like 15 years old and really thin, like, yay thin. I tried to sell it on a Facebook group. I can't imagine why nobody wanted it. <laughs> oh, come on. It's Alaska, and I thought for sure that... Somebody would want it for their somebody cabin. Somebody would want it for their cabin. It's coming up on summertime, so all kinds of people are moving into town, and... Yeah. It was you know. a foam brick. I've seen people sleeping on worse. True. Yeah. But, and it wasn't bad for a night or two, but if you're living in this thing all summer like we do, pretty much, it's not... It wasn't. So this thing is amazing. Like, we are above the... Uh, nightstands now because we are so have such a thick mattress and it's really cozy and the puppies approve and you can see uh, <laughs> behind me i got our reflective insulation up and uh that plastic window wrap that i showed you when i was dewinterizing the true test is going to be to see if any condensation forms back there yeah. because uh previous years the heater would run we would breathe, you know, humidity would build up behind there, fill up this little basin at the bottom of the window, and water would start dripping down. It sucked. Yeah, because so, then it'd get the mattress wet too sometimes. Yeah. So if this works, I'm going to, well, we're going to be happy and happy. Yeah. New mattress, mm -hmm. no more water. And then we, we'll also, we also took down the, um, what do you call those? 
things that go, they're like hard curtains that go around the sides of your RV windows. And we took that down here. Oh, the window casing. Yeah, that's the word. And you we're going right to go, there. we're going to go tomorrow and have a look around and see if we can find some curtains. And if we find some that we like, because we already took the window casing off of here. If we find some that we like, we'll take them down throughout the RV and put up some pretty Don't curtains. Are you ready to watch our movie? Yes, I am. So we have a tradition on our inaugural RV trip of the year. We watch the Robin Williams RV movie. So you can see it's all ready to play and the puppies are all snuggled in and we have our dessert. And oh, where'd Remy go? Ah. Remy, where are you? There he oh, is. there's my boy. How you doing? You good boy? Do you like your new mattress? We got it just for you. <laughs> you do know that, huh? Okay. Go back to sleep, buddy. And since we're there's doing the it, there's one. a close-up of the princess. Say hello. Say she's just glad that we're finally settled down because she's not nervous anymore. Okay, I have no idea how that's framed. Ooh, that's bad. Alright, we're back. Alright. And, uh... Time for dessert and enjoy our movie. And I don't know, we picked up a, a new camera. So, yes. Yeah. Um, we're currently shooting on, an, on a 10 year old technology flip <laughs> and an old Canon every now and then. But we just picked up a, a new Sony RX100. Uh, it's kind of top of the line point and shoot. And yep. Then we're going to upgrade our video editing software. So, it's what one of our favorite bloggers use. Yeah. So we're excited about it. Uh, we're really going to be stepping up our game for this summer. We're and really excited that RV season 2015 has commenced. Yeah. So if you like our videos, be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel. And then hit that little thumbs up down in the bottom right corner. It really uh, does our channel good. All right. We will uh, see you later. And uh, good things are coming this summer. Nighty night.